The Robinsons Mercedes Benz Handicap is next. This is a mile and a half. So nought to 90. And the top one is Geisha Kate for Ryan Costello. Sure and a plum, Joshua Sutherland, Pure Wim, Thomas Rogers, Royal Correspondent, Jim Murray, Ty Braveheart, Dan Hughes, Eileen Donnan for Alex Cherry, R. Sin in Law Pastures, James Shea, Dilshan Doubt, Graham Clutterbuck, El Paso Impact, Rennie Gerard, Kathu Zarad, Mike Westwood, Magical Wonder, Martin Edom, Travis Dirk, Thomas Rogers, Cam- Camacho Dancer for Ryan Costello, Raynell Sailor for Alex Ince, Petronel Satyam, and Raphael Ashore for Alex Cherry. So 16 of the men. They are on the fourth. They're all in the stalls. And away they go then. And who's going to be the first to show? Looks like Ty Braveheart in the blue jacket is going to try and get across to this near side and lead. But the yellow jacketed Petronel wants to hold that rail position and has managed to do so. The one that's challenging now is Sugar and a Plum. So Sugar and a Plum for Joshua Sutherland in the black and red. Just in the lead from Petronel in second. And those two have gone three or four lengths clear of Royal Correspondent in the black with the red sleeves. Wide on the track. Magical Wonder in the purple and white stripes. Down on this near side is Raynell Sailor in the purple with the green sleeves. And our Sin in Law Pastures is also close to the leading group as well as Kamako Dancer and Raphael Ashore looking towards the back Travis Dirk is just the back marker as they take the one and only slight turn and Sugar in a Plum is in the lead by about a length then to Petronel in second then a gap back to Raynell Sailor in third Royal Correspondent Arsene in all passions is next Kamako Dancer is after that one and Raphael Ashore widest on the track still is Magical Wonder the blue jacketed Ty Braveheart is trapped on the rail it's going to need a dream run to get through from there the second Alex Cherry Horse Eileen Donan is also in mid division, just about to be challenged by Pure Wim, but Sugar in a Plum is too clear of Petronello second. Coming out of the pack now to take a, cl- take a claim for third is Dilshan Doubt, but it's Sugar in a Plum who's in the lead still by about two lengths to Petronello in second. Dilshan Doubt is next. Ty Braveheart's got that lucky run through and is now beginning to make a forward move. Magical Wonder is still there, also coming through nicely. It's Kamako Dancer down on this near side. Raynell Shaler is going to need to look for a little bit of a lucky split through as well but we switch angles and it's Sugar and a Plum who's in the lead now Ty Braveheart gets out Magical Wonder is still there so's Dil Shandau Petronel's just hit a bit of a flat spot and the one that's going to need a little bit of looking in is the one on the inside there Raynell Sailor but it's Sugar and a Plum in the lead they've still got three furlongs to race and it's Sugar and a Plum who's going for home already and he leads by two to Ty Braveheart in second Kamako Dancer's running a really big race Dil Shandau is there Arsene in law Passage is trying to get into it Raphael Sure, on this near side is getting going as well. Magical Wonders dropped away, but it's Sugar in a Plum leading by two still from Kamako Dancer in second. Then Ty Braveheart and Dilshan Dat Petronel's got a second win. Then comes Raphael Ashore, Arsene in all pictures. They're inside the final furlong now, and it's Sugar in a Plum trying to make all it would seem in the lead, but now finishing like a train is Arsene in all pastures. Sugar in a Plum leaves the line, Arsene in all pastures, and Vinnie Gerard's horse flying his El Paso impact. Not got a mention of race and has come through from absolutely no. Nowhere. Goodness me, how does he do it? Vinny Gerard, he takes these horses and they, they just don't notice them until the final seconds of the race, and then whoosh! An El Paso impact certainly made an impact there. And the Arsene in law pictures looked like it had, pastures looked like it had come to take the race from Sugar in a Plum and Wallop. El Paso impact took it back. So El Paso Impact wins it for Vinny Gerard. Then pretty impressive. That are oh, Sinidor Pastures for James Shea was second. Sugar and Aplomb, Joshua Sutton was third. Travis Derg was fourth. And Rainer Sailor for Alex Ince was fifth. Just lost the name of the fourth place trainer there as it went by, but that was come back. Now it's Thomas Rogers. So that was hold on there. Fourth. El Paso Impact then for Vinny Gerard and that one could be pretty interesting with a two and a foot like that over a mile and a half.